who also compete in pageants that are for trans women and ha as well as trans women that they can also compete in, in pageants that are for women. Wow, bongga! Isang biologically female ang sumali sa isang Miss Gay Transgender Beauty Pageant. Kaya lang, may nag-react. Ayan yung reaction niya na isa din sa mga contestants sa beauty pageant na ito. Kaya ang tanong, dapat na rin bang sumali ang mga biologically born female sa mga Miss Gay or Transgender Beauty Pageants? Hmm. Because, um, Um, with this pageant is that this is an opportunity for me to show to the world and to other people that women can also compete in pageants that are for trans women and ha as well as trans women that they can also compete in, in pageants that are for women. Thank you. Follow me sa ating Instagram account, The Story of Anthony. Dito, oh. Ito naman yung huling rampa nila. By the way, courtesy itong video na mga ito kay Glenn Sagisabal. So, ang venue, I believe, ng pageant na ito, Miss Gay Kotkot, ay somewhere doon sa Cebu, no? So, I'm not sure kung saan doon banda, pero makita nyo, parang small pageant lang siya. Uh, parang... <laughs> private pageant pero maraming nanonood. And may kita nyo yung mga um, naggagandahang candidates. Bale, ang pagkakaintindi ko, there are total of 10 na kandidata, tapos may 9 na, na transgenders, tapos isa na biologically born female. So, eto yung video kung saan uh, parang last look nila habang suot-suot nila yung mga gowns. Tapos, hindi na naipakita sa video kung sino yung nanalo sa pageant na yan. Miss Gay Kotkot 2024. O, di ba? Hmm. Ayon sa comment section, hinahanap ko kung sino yung nanalo. Si Ate Girl, na biologically born female, ang nanalo sa pageant na yan. Miss Gay Kotkot 2024. Bale, basing sa kanyang uh, answer, in-invite daw siya ng mga organizers na sumali sa pageant na yan. Kaya lang, Sa sad no, kasi hindi pinakita ng uploader na si Glenn Sagisabal yung crowning moment ni Ate Girl dyan sa, sa pageant na yan. So, anyway, congratulations sa kanya. At least, no, nadagdagan ang kanyang corona. Pagdating naman sa mga comment, ayon kay Mitch TV, I strongly support all the naturally born female joining any local and international trans pageant. If trans women are now allowed to join in a pageant initially for natural-born women, then it is fair and just for all the naturally-born women to join in all local and international trans pageant. Let us all join the new rules of the Miss Universe pageant. So, hashtag quits na tayo. <laughs> Dito naman tayo sa isang nag-comment. Uh, women. Regardless of their biological mm, or gender identity, deserve respect, dignity, and opportunity. Empowering trans women is not a threat to cis women, but a recognition of their human rights and diversity. Let's respect our individual differences and always remember that women is our number one motivation why we wanted to become like them, physically and emotionally. Respect. Understanding and acceptance should be our main priority and principles in life. Tapos, eto. May isa pang comment dito. Sabi niya, woman is an umbrella term. Tapos, cis woman is uh, a person na female assigned at birth. Tapos, trans woman who identify themselves as a woman. Tapos, yung the prefix trans. In the term, trans woman is important because it indicates a person whose gender identity differs from the sex assigned to them at birth. The term cis woman refers the prefix cis to describe someone whose gender identity aligns with the gender assigned to them at birth. Pero go lang ati girl. And then lastly, ayan, ha ha ha, ayan na. How they feel if a natural-born woman joins trans pageant? Respect boundaries. 
they started it all. Now natural born natural born woman can also join their pageant. Eto na ang ating reaction. Ang masabi ko lang dito, hindi na ako na surprise na magkakaroon in the future na nangyari na ngayon na sumali ang isang biologically born female sa isang transgender o kaya Miss Gay Beauty pageant. Kasi naman, walang criteria ang uh, Miss Gay minsan na parang nagre-restrict lang sa mga transgender, no? Mukhang open talaga siya. Tapos, sa panahon ngayon, lahat na ng pageants uh, mukhang pinopromote na yung diversity, no? Kahit sino pwede nang sumali. O, di ba ngayon, marami nang nagpe-penetrate na transgenders na sumasali sa mga all-female beauty pageants. So, ngayon naman, iba naman ang kaso. Isang biologically born female ang sumali sa isang transgender or Miss Gay na beauty pageant. And I am very sure, hindi lang ito yung unang pagkakataon, kundi marami pang pagkakataon na magkakaroon ng ganito uh, na magpa-participate ang mga biologically born female sa mga Miss Gay across the Philippines or even across the world. Bale sa history ng Miss Universe pageant, merong tatlo ng transgender na successfully na nagrepresent sa kanilang country, no? Ang pinakauna was way back noong 2018, si Angela Ponce from Spain. And during that time, ang dami talagang mixed reactions sa kanyang pagsali and even sa pagkapanalo niya as Miss Spain na, syempre, the first transgender. So, hindi siya nakapasok sa semifinals. And during that year, Katriona Gray won the fourth crown for the Philippines sa Miss Universe. And then, year 2023 uh, sa El Salvador, so kabatch ni Michelle D, may dalawang transgender na nagrepresent sa uh, the Netherlands and then yung isa from Portugal. And first time then in history na Uh, may nakapasok na transgender contestant sa semi-finals ng Miss Universe and that is from Portugal. So, I'm not sure this 2024 kung magkakaroon ulit ng transgender na, kasa na sasabak sa Miss Universe. Pero, doon sa Colombia, um, uh, may isang transgender no, na gusto rin niyang uh, sumabak sa Miss Universe Colombia. So, kung papala rin siya, Uh, malay nyo, she will be also the first Colombian transgender to represent Colombia sa Miss Universe 2024. And she already participated sa isang international pageant which is Miss International Queen, if I'm not mistaken, way back 2022. Ayan, so correct me if I'm wrong dito ha. So, siya ang possible na uh, malay nyo, baka manalo siya sa Miss Colombia. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang another Budget review from Story of Anthony. Tapos mamaya, aabangan natin kung sino nga ba ang tatanghaling or ia-appoint na Miss Universe Philippines, Lucena City, Quezon Province. Hmm, siya na nga ba? Or sino? <laughs> so abangan na lang natin mamaya. Tignan ko kung wala akong lakad, baka hindi ko siya ma-i-vlog. Ma uh, baka siguro bukas. Pero kapag wala akong lakad mamaya, then ia-upload natin mamaya. So abangan natin kung sino ang tatanghaling Miss Universe Philippines, Lucena City, Quezon Province. So, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and sana mag-subscribe kayo and follow me sa aking all social media accounts for more pageant updates, mga may storyline, may reaction, and tungkol sa akin, syempre. <laughs> so, that's it guys. Have a wonderful day and always be positive.